I, I'm learning from the technology that I've invested in. Now, yeah. my budget was a hundred bucks, as you know. So a few weeks ago, Still. we started looking at the various technologies like my fitness tracker, like my smart scale that allow me to educate myself about my health, to be able to lose some weight inevitably as kind of a side effect of that. Um, and I have consistently... So, so whenever I tell you how much I've lost, it's it's only based on consistency. So if I if I hit seven point six pounds loss, and then I went back to six point, I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you seven, but I've been consistently beyond the seven pounds mark now that this is week. Awesome. So another couple pounds since last week, and I've only been doing it for a month, and it's just by educating myself. But part of that, Jeff, is yeah, eating a little, well, eating healthy, but I've cut carbs. Uh, as much as I can from my diet right. because I learned about the fact that I'm burning carbs instead of burning fat and it's right. working as really, it actually is working. So yeah, I did like, uh, I I've been using cauliflower instead of rice. So ground up cauliflower. Yeah. It's actually, That's actually delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and it's like a, a rice substitute, but there's no carbs. So, so good, but it's just like a plate of vegetable instead of rice. You can cut up some green onions. Yeah. Awesome in there. Mm. Oh yes, I had pizza last mushrooms and stuff like that. I would. I'll have pizza once a week. Like I get a cheat day once a week. So I took my daughter um, for for pizza, and we had like a cheese pizza, and you know that's mm. that's fun. Um, I also have started. So now I'm at that point where I've kind of not plateaued. I'm still losing weight fairly consistently, but fairly slowly. So one of the things in, we have a Biggest Loser channel on Discord mm -hmm. and Marshman had mentioned that one of the things I can do to kind of accelerate things is to, um, to sustain exercise in such a way that, okay, like if I run up mm -hmm. the stairs, yeah, my heart rate gets going, but then it's, it settles back down because right. I'm done. <laughs> well, so do things that are going to sustain a little bit more exercise, essentially. So I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. Like I'm not really changing my life or anything because it's got to be within reason for the way that I live. Yeah. Um, but you know, I gave my, my, uh, 12 year old, a, a piggyback ride at, while we were at Walmart. That works. And I'm, I'm looking and I'm like, holy cow, I burn a lot of calories doing that. <laughs> I actually kind of started to get sore legs from right. doing that. Cause like he's 12 years old. He's a big, big guy. And, and so for him, it was a lot of fun. It was a great time yep. for me. It was like, this is a great, great way to sustain that kind of heart rate. So mm -hmm. that was something. And then I took my youngest, uh, who's nine. I took him skating last night. Oh, so that's all right. we just, we found an outdoor skating rink here in Barrie, Ontario and uh, we strapped on the skates for the first time in a couple of years. Nice. And uh, and we skated for an hour and fifteen minutes or so. And, and that time again flew was just by because it, it flew skating. by. Yeah. Yeah. And it was fun. And and for him again. So it, for for the kids, it's like this is great daddy time. Mm -hmm. For dad, it's great dad child time. But also at the same time, I'm I'm I've got that kind of side motive of hey, I'm doing things with the kids that are. Yeah. Trying to get me to be more physically active as a computer geek. And I mean, because pla I'm planting that's, the I'm through seed through. for your children that this fun activity stuff mm -hmm. is is actually fun, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're like, I'll go outside and play, and you don't do it yourself, it it's not as much fun as if you know, dad's out there actually. Oh, sure. Like, playing around. And, and I was also surprised, like something like finding an outdoor skating rink that the city maintains. Like they have a Zamboni at their outdoor skate yeah. skating rink. Like this is serious, real deal skating and it's free, which is awesome. Tax dollars pay for it. So you just go and strap on your skates and go and skate as long as you want. And it's yeah. open until 10 PM. So for me, it was like, this is a really, really cheap outing cost us nothing to, but, to yeah. go out. So that was fantastic. So See, you're living healthier. I, quite frankly, am just not caring too much right about now, but I will say That's I, fine. I had it's... a very busy weekend Yeah, and on Saturday and Sunday, my watch rewarded me for beating my daily activity goals. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> for the win, because I had stuff to do in a house to clean. There you go. But it was nice. good. I will say though, um, I think my steps are lower today than they were <laughs> last week. I'm at 1,878 oh steps. Now, yeah. Sasha, you have a competition. I got forty five hundred. Yeah. But I'm, hey, at, I'm at seventy five hundred. Okay. So that's lower than last week. That's lower than last week. week. Last week I was in competition. Well, that's and right. So that, did you I... cheat? Did you? No, end up I don't cheat. Well, no, because no. we had that conversation Although, where you could I go like that. I will say there has been no. some discussion in Discord on what cheating really is. 
um, I play video games and it ups my step count. And I don't you were saying you're using this as a way to maintain, yeah. like I'm doing with the piggyback rides. Exactly. Maintain that. So, it doesn't feel like cheating to me. So no, that's did you game. use activity yeah. manipulation to win your no, contest? I did. No. Okay. So did what did anybody? you do this week? Yeah. Oh, this week I beat Crimson Fang. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> tell us about it. Okay. So. Is this like a real workout? Yes. Well, okay. in virtual you reality. Have, I was going to say, you have to clarify though, what Crimson Fang is. Okay. So I have an, uh, Vive, an HTC Vive. And I play a game called Knockout League. So in that game, there's a series of competitors that you fight against. Boxing. And I boxing. I was in a boxing match. And they are tough. They're beasts because they're not based in reality. They can do things that I cannot do. Oh. Um, and I was really stuck on Crimson Fang, like for a long time, because she wears this mask. And if you punch too slow, the mask will bite you. Oh, dear. And I was, and, and. Just like real box. The oh, fight. Based on reality, the mask <laughs> bites you. <laughs> what? And. Mike Tyson didn't need a mask. <laughs> the fight, and the fights last six minutes. And oftentimes when I lose, I lose like at the five minutes and 30 second point. So I can oh, only. So you don't have that staying power for the full six minute round. Yeah. Okay. So I had to really work myself up to the cardio of a six minute fight. I don't understand how they do rounds of this against real competitors it was intense anyway so my ne my next opponent is gonna be a long way off it's so was this like exclusively a cardiovascular kind of like yes like do you feel it in your in your you feel like, it in your everything there's no there's no there's no physical interaction right well you're holding on to the controllers right not that they have a lot of weight but you're also like swinging punching yeah, yeah. deking dodging so like it's a full body deal like it's gotta try this sometime you have to try so it cool. how long ago did you build that computer two years ago a couple years yeah weren't we supposed to have like a yeah, we, VR, oh, yeah, yeah, day? yeah. We Sasha, let's do that all right next like next wednesday die <laughs> before I we wish. get there very cool oh <laughs> uh, that's exciting so however you decide i mean this is for me is part of my kind of new year's resolution but my new year's resolution is really just to educate myself that's how that's my approach and I am finding that by educating myself, I'm learning more about how things work and I'm losing weight. I've lost over seven pounds in the past month, which isn't huge. But for me, I can see it in my face. I can yeah. feel it in my body. And uh, and I'm excited about, you know, where I'm going to be six months from now. I feel like I'll be healthier. Yeah. That's all it's about. Six months from now. Yeah. So will seven I. Seven pounds is huge. Don't well, don't be like it's not huge. That's huge. That's it's a it's a great achievement for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, and I feel great about it. I'm not I'm not downplaying that at all. I'm just yeah. like it's not like I lost twenty pounds in a week. No, like some no, people do that. Still no, seven, I'm just seven pounds. I haven't done anything other than change just my knowledge. But that's what about four yeah. percent for you? Seven pounds? I don't know. Don't yeah. make me do math today, Jeff. <laughs> Please don't. See for me, but seven pounds. Whatever whatever it is for you, um, I just encourage you to like check out the technologies that are available. If you've ever had trouble with uh, with if it's weight loss or if it's like keeping the New Year's resolution, there's tech that's available like the fitness tracker, like that scale that is encouraging me by giving me information about um, like BMI and, and stuff that I didn't know about before. Uh, my metabolic age, I've lost two years off my uh, off my meta metabolic age, so I'm now two years younger uh, in the past month, so that's huge. Um, so those kinds of things are really good encouragements, and, and they'll help you to be able to achieve the goals just by educating you and, and, and helping you to see how the things that you choose to eat and do are affecting your health. So uh, it's working for me so far, so maybe it will work for you too. Get into uh, Biggest Loser biggest loser on uh, our discord channel so go on to category 5.tv join our discord under interact and uh, and you'll see biggest loser there it's pretty fun